Shavnam Diaries Podcast Reading Bhagavad Gita as it is, the book by His Divine Grace Abhay Charanaravinda Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, Chapter 6, Dhyana Yoga, Text 43 Tatra Tambudhi Samyogam Labhate Parvadehikam Yatate Chatato Bhuya on taking such a birth, he revives the divine consciousness of his previous life and he again tries to make further progress in order to achieve complete success, O son of Kuru. Purport King Bharat, who took his third birth in the family of a good Brahmana, is an example of good birth for the revival of previous transcendental consciousness. King Bharat was the emperor of the world and since his time this planet has been known among the demigods as Bharat Varsha. Since his time this planet has been known among the demigods as Bharat Varsha. Formerly it was known as Ilavrita Varsha. The emperor, at an early early age, retired for spiritual perfection, but failed to achieve success. In his next life, he took birth in the family of a good brahmana and was known as Jada Bharat, because he always remained secluded and did not talk to anyone. And later on, he was discovered as the greatest transcendentalist by King Rahugana. From his life, it is understood that transcendental endeavors or the practice of yoga never go in vain. By the grace of the Lord, the transcendentalist gets repeated opportunities for complete perfection in Krishna consciousness. I like this. Repeated opportunities. Meaning, it's not like you fail an exam and the teacher is like, well, that's it. Eternal damnation. <laughs> but no, it's like you will get repeated opportunities. Repeated. Okay. And it is all the grace of the Lord, meaning He's very merciful. Text 44 Purva bhyasena te naiva hriyate hyava shopisaha jigyasura pi yogasya shabda brahmati vartate By virtue of the divine consciousness of His previous life, he automatically becomes attracted to the yogic principles, even without seeking them. Such an inquisitive transcendentalist stands always above the ritualistic principles of the scriptures. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, poor part. Advanced yogis are not very much attracted to the rituals of the scriptures, but they automatically become attracted to the yoga principles, which can elevate them to complete Krishna consciousness, the highest yoga perfection. Hmm. In the Srimad Bhagavatam 3.33.7, such disregard of Vedic rituals by the advanced transcendentalists is explained as follows. Aho Bhattashva Pachoto Gariyan Yajih Varge Vartate Namatubhyam Te Pustapaste Jehovu Sasnurarya 
Brahmanu Churnama Grinantiete. Quote, O my Lord, persons who chant the holy names of your Lordship are far, far advanced in spiritual life, even if born in the families of dog eaters. Such chanters have undoubtedly performed all kinds of austerities and sacrifices, bathed in all sacred places, and finished all scriptural studies. Unquote. The famous example of this was presented by Lord Chaitanya, who accepted Thakur Haridas as one of his most important disciples. Although Thakur Haridas happened to take his birth in a Muslim family, he was elevated to the post of Namacharya by Lord Chaitanya due to his rigidly attended principle of chanting 300,000 holy names of the Lord daily. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And because he chanted the holy name of the Lord constantly, it is understood that in his previous life he must have passed through all the ritualistic methods of the Vedas, known as Shabda Brahma. Unless, therefore, one is purified, one cannot take to the principles of Krishna consciousness or become engaged in chanting the holy name of the Lord Hare Krishna. Text 45 Prayat nadyata manastu yogi samshodha kilbishaha Aneka janma samsidhas tato yati param gatim And when the yogi engages himself with sincere endeavor in making further progress Further progress Being washed of all contaminations then ultimately achieving perfection after many, many births of practice. He attains the ultimate, oh, the supreme goal. He attains the supreme goal. Purport. A person born in a particularly righteous, aristocratic, aristocratic or sacred family becomes conscious of his favorable condition for executing yoga practice. With determination, therefore, he begins his unfinished task and thus he completely cleanses himself of all material contaminations. When he is finally free from all contaminations, he attains the supreme perfection. Krishna Consciousness Krishna Consciousness is the perfect stage of being freed of all contaminations. This is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita 7.28 Yesham tvantagatam papam jananam punya karmanam te dvandva moha nirmukta Bhajante mam dridhavrata. Quote, after many, many births of executing pious activities, when one is completely freed from all contaminations and from all illusory dualities, one becomes engaged in the transcendental, loving, service of the Lord. Unquote. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We're completing this chapter tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very, very important verse. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. The book links, previous episodes, timeline, and biography of the author can be found on shravanamdiaries.com. The link is in the description, and we shall see you tomorrow. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Krishna.